From the heart of Wayne County, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television, Goldsboro, North Carolina. Today is May 5th. May 5th. Oh! Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that's it. It's Cinco de Mayo. Which a lot of people feel or think. Wait a minute. Let's get into the program first. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> it's May 5th, 2016. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. Now we'll get right into the program. Some people feel that Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, is the Independence Day. Because it sounds a lot like July 4th. May 5th, but it's not. Independence Day in Mexico is not May 5th. Right. I, it's somewhere in September, I believe. This is, well, this is the, this is the day that, that honors those, um, and, and uh, historically there was a, a major battle with, I believe, the French in, uh, in Mexico, and this, is, this honors that day. Cinco de Mayo, there you go. There you go. Okay, welcome to you. We have a full plate for you today. And that reminds me, I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Not really. Not but. really. Not really. Not really. But uh, we'll go over a couple of things uh, very quickly here for you. Uh, again, Amnesty Day coming up at the uh, Wayne County Landfill. That's on May 7th. You'll hear more about that tomorrow because May 7th is this Saturday. And if you have items that you need to take to the landfill, just kind of get rid of them, we can do that. Okay? Okay. 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 Wayne County is uh, conducting a survey about broadband and what we're asking you to do is to go to the WayneGov.com website, click on the link uh, on the main page, you'll find a link there, and you click on that link and it will take you to a survey uh, and we're asking you to fill that out about broadband here in Wayne County. You know, some people have it and some people don't. If you can believe that, this day and time there's actually some, some dead spots in That's Wayne right. County. And we need to get all this covered, uh, and the county's trying to find out exactly where we stand with internet access here in Wayne County. So we're asking you to go to WayneGov.com and click on that link on the main page. You go to the main page and scroll down a little bit, and you'll find it. You'll find it. And uh, when you do, fill out that, uh, and, and there's not a lot of, there's no personal information on there that, that you would care about. But we just need to know where we stand. That's right. Do you have broadband access? Do you have internet access? Do you know what you have? And if you don't have anything, you can't have it, you don't have it, then we need to know that as well. Yeah, and I, I will tell you, I was not aware until last week that we, we do have areas of our county that do not have access to the internet. So the point of this is to identify where those areas are um, so that a solution can, can be found. That is exactly right. <clears throat> okay, May 5th, today, or tonight rather, at 6.30, the American Legion Post 103 will be meeting at the at the American Legion hut in Mount Olive post 103 at 708 North Chestnut Street and then on May 14th the Military Order of the Purple Heart chapter 657 will have their meeting that will be at 10 o'clock at 212 East Mulberry Street in the DAV building complex there the DAV building and that's between the post office and City Hall on Mulberry Street 212 East Mulberry Street downtown Goldsboro that's on May 14th on May 12th, backing up, mm -hmm. uh, the VFW, VFW Post uh, 2615, Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 2615, will have their meeting at 6, 1800 hours at the American Legion Post 11, Highway 117, Dudley, which is just immediately south of the fairgrounds. Uh, so if you're a, a member of uh, Post 2615, the VFW, uh, that meeting again is at 1800 hours, 16, at uh, 600, at uh, 6 p.m. <laughs> 6 p.m. at the American Legion Post 11 in Dudley, Highway 117 South there, uh, near the uh, fairgrounds. Okay? Okay. 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 Ken Hutt, there you go. Today uh, kicks off the three-day run for the Women's Day Build, 
for Habitat right. for Humanity. Right. So um, very much looking forward to, to joining forces and um, putting on my woman's hard hat. All right. I have been assured by Matt Whittle that even though I do not have any skills in building uh, anything, mm -hmm. that uh, my services are needed and, and so are yours. If you are able to uh, donate your time in the future, um, please contact the Habitat for Humanity. If you're not able to, for whatever reason, they will gladly accept donations. Um, so just a, a shout out to our friends at Habitat for Humanity. I will share some stories with you uh, uh, later about it and hopefully uh, I, I won't have any bruises or... <laughs> <laughs> Women build and this yes. is not the first year they've done this before and it's very successful last year I remember. Uh, this year expecting of course to be successful again. Yes. It, but you do not have to have any skills. That's right, that's right. There are people on site that can help you and guide you mm -hmm. in, the, in the building process. Uh, but you don't actually have to get in there and handle things unless you want to and this that's right uh, but it's okay there are people out there to keep you safe and that and that's right they're certainly <coughs> looking for skilled labor yeah but they also don't want they don't want to turn anybody away like right. me no, <laughs> like no. i know how to hang a picture on a wall <laughs> <laughs> so looking forward to it and um and i'll share some updates next week how about right. that that sounds good to me all right here's our trivia question the category for today's trivia question is shakespeare yeah uh, come on. Let me pick the categories from now on. <laughs> you got biology, Shakespeare. Sure. And you knew biology. Well, not at first. <laughs> <laughs> Shakespeare. And you may know this one as well. Uh, Boy, there's some good questions here. Okay, anyway. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what is the name? What is the name? Okay, <laughs> Shakespeare not only wrote stories, right? Mm -hmm. He also wrote something called a poetic form of 14 lines. What is the name of the 14-lined poetic form Shakespeare used? Oh. There's a very specific name. You know this. I, I can't say it, though. It's on the tip of, I'll know it by the time we get back from the break mm -hmm. without cheating. Uh -huh. I'll get it. You know it, Bria? Okay. I'll get it. You will when you hear it. You will. Everybody has heard this. It is a 14 line. And that's the clue. That's the key that's right the there. That's the key, yeah. 14 lines, no more, no less, exactly 14 lines. A poem, a 14 line poem used by Shakespeare. What's it called? All Good. right, time to go to our interview and we'll be back. As you can see, we have a very special guest in the studio today. We want to welcome, well, it's Chris Malpas of the Malpas Thank Brothers. You. Chris, it's Appreciate so good, it's good to see you, pal. You. How you been doing? Oh, doing good. That's doing good. good. Uh, staying busy. I so. know you are. Now, gee whiz, this week, last time you and I, when you and I first connected this week, you were in California. Yes, sir. You and Taylor were playing at a, at what was that, Stagecoach? Oh, Stagecoach, a big country music festival out there. I didn't know. Uh, where was that? that and, was um, in the, it's in Indio, California. Indio. Yes, Southern sir. California. Southern California. Yeah, yeah. Near Ontario. Yes, sir. Uh, in Ontario. All right. And then you ended up in Asheville this week. We were. Uh, we were in Asheville uh, with the record label, uh, talking to them about uh, different things. And, and uh, now we're back here in good old Goldsboro. All right. For a little while. <laughs> You're home for a, a little while. A little yeah. while, yes, sir. Now, uh, we recorded this last night. Now, today being Thursday, yes, that sir. means that uh, you and Taylor are going to be performing tonight. Yes, sir. We'll Where are you, what are you guys doing? Well, we'll be, of course, the Center Street Jam, and uh, we'll be doing um, Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard and right. Hank Williams, and then we'll be doing some of our originals as well. Yeah. Uh, we'll have our full band out there, so we look forward to everybody coming out. Hope they will. That's fantastic. All right, well, tell me something. Let's go back a little bit here. Now, you and I first got together and started talking to each other, what, I guess, what, 12, 15 years ago, I guess. It's getting close. Yeah, now, yeah. Sure. a long time ago, out at the radio station there. But uh, give me a little bit of background on the Malpas Brothers. You you fellas grew up here in Goldsboro. We in did. In the Goldsboro area. Yes, sir. Um, we, um, we grew up here, and my brother and I started playing. I was probably... Uh, well, I was started as as early as eight or nine, but as far as the Malpas Brothers, we started, I was probably about 13, and my brother was about, oh, 10, mm -hmm. nine or 10. Mm -hmm. He started playing mandolin. We traveled around to churches, fairs, whatever we could play, and um, it kind of grew from that, and uh, 
my granddaddy ran a little store here in Goldsboro, and he had a jukebox in there, and he'd bring home all the old records. Oh, yeah. And that's where we learned a lot of our songs, Hank and Lefty and all the good old stuff. That's the good stuff, man. And uh, it kind of grew from that. You know, it, it, it's grown a little more and more. We had a chance to work with Don Helms for a while, who was Hank Williams' right-hand man, and then Merle Haggard for mm -hmm. seven years. Mm -hmm. And now we're working uh, with Doyle Lawson. He's producing our stuff. We're doing a lot of, uh, of our own stuff now, so... It's a growing process. Uh, you've got videos out. You've got, uh, who's your label now? Uh, we're with a label now uh, called Organic Records. Organic. And um, they're out of Asheville, North Carolina. Right. And so um, we were with Hag Records, and um, so, but now we're, we've gone with Organic, and, and uh, it's doing pretty well for us, we hope, anyway. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So uh, give me, a, how would you describe your music, traditional country, uh, yes, sir. It would be, um, uh, I would say, yeah, traditional country. We do some rockabilly as far as Johnny Cash and stuff, mm -hmm. but um, just straight ahead traditional country mainly, yes, sir. And my opinion is that that's, that's a lost art now. You don't hear that much of the traditional, the good, the old country, the good country that much anymore. No, sir. Um, I don't know how many folks watched it awards the other night but the only thing traditional on it was Toby Keith's tribute to Merle Haggard yeah. you know and uh so music has changed a lot I think there's room for all types but uh traditional country is something that we love and we're trying to keep alive and um I feel like it it'll come back around I hope I, I absolutely agree with you and I hope it does too you're a songwriter as well yes sir and you've written some beautiful songs well thank you that you have They're appreciate beautiful. it yes thank you what sir. inspires you when you're writing um, you know, a lot of times, um, well, one of the hard things about writing is getting the time to do it, you know, yeah. where something's not going on, but, um, just a, a, a reason to write, I guess, if I have an album coming up, that helps me, and then, too, sometimes a friend that's going through something where I see a situation inspires me. Mm -hmm. Um, you never know where one's going to come from, so, um. It's kind of weird how that works. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And sometimes they don't come all at once, you know. Sometimes it may come in stages. Yes, sir. So uh -huh. I've had um I've had one that I've uh, been working on. And it's been going on a couple months, and then once in a while one will come all at once, and you'll listen to it back, and you'll go, "Why did that come all at once? That's not good enough to come." <laughs> <in>. <laughs> so you know, it just uh it varies. Yeah. It does. I enjoy writing though. All right, now you you have yourself and uh, and Taylor, your younger brother, in the in the in the band. Tell me about the other band members. Um, my dad plays bass, and um. Then we've got a couple of different drummers we use. One of them from Goldsboro here, Dennis Daniels. Mm -hmm. if you know, do you know Dennis? Yes. Everybody knows Dennis. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. And he's good. And uh, then I have, um, we have a great steel player that's been with us for many years, Clyde Maddox. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, He is good. And now at Center Street, we'll have a fella by the name of Joe Turner that's coming from South Carolina to play with us. Okay. He fills in with us some. And then we've got a fiddle player by the name of Johnny Ridge. Okay. Um, yeah, he's been with a lot, so big bluegrass band, and he's playing with us now. So, right. uh, and then of course Taylor, we can't leave Taylor out. Can't he leave plays Taylor guitar out. Guitar and mandolin, and sing right. harmony and lead too. So. First time I ever met Taylor, he was playing mandolin. I yes, think sir. He started on mandolin, didn't he? He did. He uh, he started on mandolin and then went to lead guitar, and um, he 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 really took off with it. You know, I wish I could. I could learn that quick. <laughs> Some people can. <laughs> he, he did learn quickly, and he, he did, did real yes, well with it. Who was, uh, if you had, I know you were with, with uh, Merle Haggard for uh, for seven or so years, and of course, a big loss this past year when he passed away. Uh, besides Merle, who would be your favorite artist of traditional country, would you say? Or do you have a favorite? Well, uh, Hank Williams Sr., of course, influenced me so much, and uh Hank would Hank and Merle are the two, um, the Leuven brothers too, mm -hmm. you know, because of my brother and I. But but probably Hank and Merle. Yeah. Would, and, and yeah. There's so many great ones. Yeah. I mean, it's not like nowadays. Those guys lasted their career lasted so long. You had so much to choose from in their career. Nowadays careers are short. You know, thank mm -hmm. goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, thank goodness. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> You won't have to hear some of these no. people for 40 years. But, no, but, thank um, goodness is right. Some yeah. of those old ones that, you know, their career was so long, you had so much to choose from. Now, Merle Haggard was a prolific songwriter as well. Oh, man. Did, well, were you able to, to get anything off him or from him? Uh, maybe a little. Um, 
I wrote a lot of songs while I was out, out touring with Merle. I think the big thing was, you know, just any idea that you come up with, jot it down right then, mm -hmm. you know. And I've heard Marty Stewart say, talk about writing them on the mirror with shaving cream, <laughs> you know, you know, because, so I, I think songwriters think a lot and it almost is exhausting sometimes. And I think that's why you have to get it right then, because if you don't, something else will come along. Yeah. And uh, Merle was, of course, he was, man, I just can't even imagine being as gifted as he was. Right he was had a lot of talent there. Yes, sir. A lot of Riding talent. dude. Now, he, he's been around for 40 plus years, and he will, uh, his legacy will continue. Yes, well, sir. Many, oh, yes, more. sir. Yeah. Yeah, he had a long, long career, and a lot of songs they're saying now hadn't even been, and I've heard some of them had the pleasure of hearing them while I was with him, hadn't even been released to it, and they're maybe getting ready to, so. Yeah. Might have some more good music coming from Merle. Now you and Taylor have uh, an album out now. We do. Uh, well, in fact, you have several. But what's your latest? Uh, the latest thing we have is just the Malpas Brothers, and it's off Organic Records, and it's got a couple of originals on it, and it's got some covers as well of Marty mm. Robbins and mm -hmm. different people like that. Uh, now, there you know. was another one, Marty Robbins. Oh, uh, well, he was underrated to, to well, a big I'll tell degree. You what, we need him back. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Marty Robbins, uh, country singer, uh, songwriter, and race car driver. We need him on the track. And yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. We do. We need him both places. I saw him run in Charlotte one a couple of times. In fact, he was, uh, and he was Man, a good he was, driver. He was. That's music and racing has changed a lot. We could use him back in both spots. We could. Yeah, and we could use fewer rules and regulations in, well, we in sure a lot could. of areas. We could. We sure could. <laughs> but not safety wise. The safety is important. Uh, oh yeah, it's gotten a lot safer. I think it's just lost some of the charm and the character. It has. It's, it's. I don't want to say it's too commercial, but it's too commercial. It is. And and everything now, that people to seem like people in the world now don't want character anymore. They want everything the same. Yeah. They don't like characters. Char characters make bumps in the road. Yeah. Earnhardt yeah. Senior. Oh. Well, he man. was a character. You know. Yeah, he he was, stood apart. You know. He sure did. He, uh, but and and some you either loved him or hated him. You yeah, know, and, uh, and sometimes both. You know, you just couldn't. <laughs> you go, man, I wouldn't have done that, but that sure was good. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, look, uh, you have your guitar with you there. How about, yeah. How about doing a little solo for us? Okay. Here? What do you think, Tickle? You want to hear? Or? Uh, uh, you 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 select whatever you want to do is fine. Okay. Uh, right. We'll do one right. for Wayne County then. That's this good. is a Merle That's, song that, that can be dedicated to Wayne County. That works for me. Silver wings shining in the sunlight, roaring engine, and it's somewhere in flight. They're taking you away, leaving me alone. Silver wings slowly fading out of sight. Don't leave me, I cry. Don't take that airplane ride. But you locked me out of your mind and left me standing here. Shining in the sunlight, roaring in dust, headed somewhere in flight. They're taking you away, leaving me lonely. Silver Slowly fading out of sight. Oh man, that's hard to do by yourself. I know it is. <laughs> I'm not going to jump in because I can't sing. So well, you can you drum, y'all. <laughs> well, I can, but uh, next time maybe. Well, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. I thank you, sir. That's a beautiful song. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. That's for sure. Yeah, it is. All right, the show starts at seven o'clock, Center Street Jam, downtown Goldsboro, on in the John Street parking lot, which is right behind the Oddfellows building between John and 
Center Street. Yes, downtown sir. Downtown Goldsboro. We look forward to seeing all the Man, folks. I tell you what, it's going to be a great evening. Well, we thank you, and uh, we appreciate Goldsboro for having us, putting I, up with us. All right. And I hope this is the first of many visits here. Sure. Yes, sir. I all hope right. to be back soon. All right. Maybe the next time you bring that old rascal brother. I might. Later. If I can drag him out of the field, I'm going to bring him. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Chris Malpas, Malpas Brothers, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, it. man. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for sticking with us and being with us here on Wayne Goldsboro Television. You know the show repeats each day, Monday through Friday. We do a program at 7 a.m. That show repeats at, at noon and then again at 5.30 p.m. We hope you're able to join us. Each day, Monday through Friday, a uh, program. That's right. And, and if you miss it, you can see it online by visiting um, waynegov.com. Com. Yes. We say that a little go. more confidently. <laughs> Visit WayneGov.com. Oh, very good. Yeah, I love it. You know, the practice it makes perfect. Uh, WayneGov.com. You can also go to GoldsboroNC.gov, and somewhere in there they have a link to the uh, uh, YouTube page. Uh, our YouTube page is in the upper right-hand corner of the WayneGov.com website. WayneGov.com website. Go to the upper right-hand corner. There's a little red dot with an arrow on it there. That's YouTube. You click on that. It takes you right to our channel, and it will also take you to the channel uh, you'll have to look for now uh, Morning Shows 2016. And we have them all for the last several years, but 2016, Morning Show 2016. It also has, of course, the meetings of the Wayne County Commissioners. We have a feature of, um, of uh, Cooperative Extension yes. things in there, like uh, 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 Michelle Estrada's Cooking. Mm -hmm. We've got a new feature. I mean, you know, you want to learn how to cook some really quick things inexpensively. This, I'm loving this. This is, by the way, a lot of fun. Uh, you go on that uh, on that WayneGov.com website, click on the link to YouTube, and on our YouTube channel, you go to the Home and Garden section, and uh, Michelle's uh, recipes are on there. Not recipe, not only recipes, but we show you how to yeah. make it right there, which is w which is wonderful. I love it. I it's love wonderful. It. Lots of fun. Action. Action. It is. Yeah. Coming up on May tenth. May. <laughs> They're out of order. I know. Oh, I'm, that makes it Oh, hard. I know why. Come here. Vic said, he said, you know, a couple of these are out of order. You want me to redo them? I said, nah, don't worry about that. <laughs> May 10th, we have two meetings. One is the American Legion Brian Best Post 215 meeting at 630. And that's at the DAV building on East Mulberry Street, 212 East Mulberry, the American Legion meeting. Uh, and then the VFW meeting in Mount Olive Post 9959 will be meeting at 630 at 1010 North Church Street in Mount Olive, 1010 North Church in Mount Olive, and that's May 10th, both of those meetings, May 10th. May 12th, we have two meetings. The Disabled American Veterans Meeting, uh, uh, Wayne Chapter 45 meeting, again, at the uh, DAV building at 212 East Mulberry Street, mm -hmm. and the BFW Post 2615, having their meeting at six o'clock on May 12th at the American Legion Post in Dudley, that's on Highway 117, just south of the fairgrounds, okay? Okay. All right. Tomorrow uh, is going to be an exciting day in Mount Olive. Uh, Mount Olive Chamber of Commerce for, and I, I know it's been at least four, probably five or six years, they have been host to um, uh, the program. It's called LeaderCast. It's um, is that tomorrow? Nationwide. It's tomorrow. It has Whoa. snuck up on me. Uh, but we are wow. so thankful for um, Julie Beck and the board of directors over at the Mount Olive Chamber of Commerce. You have to buy rights to be able to air it within mm. a certain mile radius. So mm -hmm. however many years ago um, that they, they made the decision to bring it to Wayne County, it is one of the best kept secrets that we desperately really want is. to not make a secret. Yeah. You, the attendees are going to hear from speakers all over the country yeah. and um, millions of people will be tuning in to watch this live broadcast. So we'll be over at the Southern Bank Auditorium in um, Mount Olive at the University of Mount Olive and uh, all kinds of leadership. So you can find more by going online. If you miss it this year, um, hopefully next year you won't, but LeaderCast does a good job of being able to do little clips from it. But I've been the last two years and I'm telling you, um, 
you walk you walk away inspired. Something something strikes a chord with you. I wonder if its uh, information is on uh, Julie's website. It is. It absolutely is. So you can right. visit the Mount Olive Chamber of Commerce, uh, and the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce has the information as well. Oh, good. Um, okay. Yes. Ju you know, we're just trying to help spread the word. Julie um, Beck has offered sixty-five dollars, which is a deep discount to her chamber members, as well as extended it to the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce really? members. So. 65 bucks for an 8 to 430 development day. It's and these speakers crazy. are internationally recognized. Yeah. Not just known, but internationally recognized. Mm -hmm. These are people whose names you know. Yeah. Uh, who le uh, leaders of our nation and internationally. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Trivia question. Okay. All right. What is the name of the 14 lined poetic form used by William oh. R. Shakespeare? I don't know where the R came from. <laughs> I should have said William is Shakespeare. So, it is called a... Sonnet. That's Only it. because I looked at it. I couldn't oh. remember it. No, I just looked yeah, at it. Too. I just, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> a sonnet. That's right, that's right. There was a TV show named that. Somewhere. Really? Yeah, Guns of Will Sonnet. Yeah. No brag, just fact. Starring Walter Brennan and Dirk Rambo. You know so much random stuff. I know, and I, it, won't, it won't buy me a cup of coffee. I don't know why, you know. Anyway, what do you do with something like that? Wow. All right, there you go. Sonnet. Well, nice. uh, rather, Sonnet was the answer to today's trivia question. And we've covered birthdays, and we covered the trivia, and we covered everything else. And yeah, the only thing left to say is tonight is a Center Street Jam. Oh, yeah. No matter if you're <laughs> watching this one at first airs, middle of the day, or end of the day, from 6 to 9, you're invited to come out for a free evening in downtown Goldsboro mm -hmm. and hear the very talented Malthus Brothers. I'll tell you what, these guys, these two guys, and the band are loved by everyone in the community. It doesn't matter what kind of music you like. They, they're just two down-to-earth, likable guys. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, they're like your next wildly door Wildly yeah. talented. Exactly. Wildly, wildly talented. And um, <clears throat> it'll, it'll be a great evening. And, and, you know, talk about some Wayne County home, homegrown yeah. pride. Oh, they're fantastic. You know, yeah. one of the finest entertainers in the last 50 years with a fellow by the late uh, by the name of Merle Haggard. The late Merle uh -huh. Haggard was so talented in so many ways and the ultimate professional mm -hmm. performer. He had the Malpas brothers, these two kids, these two gentlemen, <coughs> traveling with him and performing with him on stage. He took those, those guys, those Wayne County boys, under his wing and traveled the country with them. Yeah. And they were very successful. So these Malpas brothers will be at the Right, tonight at the Center Street Jam. You're invited. That's Free right. of charge. We gotta wow. go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We'll be back in here tomorrow. Join us at whatever time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Either 7 or noon or 5.30 p.m. We'll be there and I hope you're there too. And until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. <laughs>